Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel. And I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today is, what is today? I believe today is March 14th. <laughs> I just got back home. It's currently 7.45 p.m. Just got in. My son had an award ceremony today. Um, he played flag football back in the fall of 2019. So they had their ceremony today for the organization he played for. And um, he got four four trophies for that, which was awesome. But I'm home. I got packages. I'm excited. After I make this, I got to do a, another video and then I have to rehearse. I got to dance tomorrow. Y'all see my dress over there? That pink and gold dress. I'm wearing it Sunday. So excited. But um, I got a couple of packages. So the first two I already unboxed um, were two DVDs from Our Daily Bread. I had a whole bunch of stuff. To, I had to mail out to Our Daily Bread since um, I think <laughs> October. October, September maybe even, but because I didn't have a lot of stamps, I wasn't able to mail them out. So I finally got a chance to mail them out. So I have a lot of stuff coming in the mail from them. So right now I have the Media Club DVDs. Um, I have October 2019 and December 2019, but um, it's the Holy Land Region 1 and then the Holy Land Region 2. So part one, part two. Um, I think I own this already though in the complete set. So if I do, I will not open these and I will use these for a giveaway possibly, but we have that then i had this pretty pink package um my brother did open like he did take this out of the packaging the original packaging so i couldn't i didn't know who it was from but i knew what was inside of it so i know who it's from it was my from my sis leona um she is starting up a business and i'm so excited for her so um inside the package were three pairs of lashes and i'm gonna show you guys these so this is probably my favorite pair because they're like so cute but i got these lashes here these are the m29s um this i love the packaging of this this box for some reason but we have these this is called the e7 and then she sent me the mn19 lashes which are like your full-on glam but i have three pairs of lashes i will have makeup videos coming on this channel really really soon I'm super super excited um to be doing that so got these and then i got a package from alicia one of you ladies you got Alicia know who she is. She know who she is. Hold on, she's actually sending me a message right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just let her know that I'm home. Then I got her package. But um, she sent it to me. And one thing I do want to say is thank you so much, Alicia. You, first of all, put my actual name, which I love. And you put Evangelist. And it was so awkward seeing that. I'm not going to lie. It was a little awkward when I was like, oh, Evangelist. You know, I be forgetting I'm an Evangelist sometimes. But, like, I know I'm an Evangelist. But it's kind of hard to, like, hear it when people be like, Evangelist. But, like, oh, that's me, right? <laughs> but um okay so i'm gonna open this i don't know what it is that she sent me um but i'm excited so i'm gonna grab the scissors Ooh. okay oh, i'm so sorry guys this has been a very interesting long weekend but okay so i'm so like excited so opened it up okay I don't even like I'm like what is this sis no oh my god no I've been saying I wanted another one of these for a long <laughs> a long time because I own one already and I really wanted another one because I knew sis Yo. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to message her real quick. OMG. I'm sorry, guys. You're looking at my face as I'm, like, messaging her right now. I gotta send, like, mad hearts and stars and hearts and stuff because I... <laughs> Okay, so, she sent me another one of these beautiful, beautiful General of the Word Bibles, NKJV translation. Of course, that's my favorite translation. If you ever wanted to know what my favorite translation of the Bible is, it is the New King James, the NKJV. I prefer that translation. I'm still going to make a video on, like, my favorite translations and why I prefer the NKJV, but I have this, okay, already, so I actually have mine out. Now, this is my version. Um, This one is... 
the teal teal floral something like that um but my gripe why i really stopped using this is one because i slacked off with studying the bible but also because it started to like fray and it was getting on my nerve and um there's certain things in the bible like i want to restudy like when i use this bible um where is it where is it i can't find it now <laughs> what i'm looking for is crazy But when I originally studied uh, Ruth I'm in this Bible, I don't think I studied it on my own. I studied it with um, another YouTuber in this Bible, and I wanted to use this Bible to restudy it. I'm really trying to find it, and I can't find it. And it's frustrating me. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So when I did this, was it the study of Ruth? Yeah, I think this was the one. Yeah, when I studied the book of Ruth in my Bible, I did not study it on my own. If I'm not mistaken, I used this Bible to study it with Nora Conrad here on YouTube. She did a, a Bible study on Ruth. And um, I love this Bible. I love the setup of it. I love the spacing of it. It's everything to me. And I've always wanted a, um, I've always wanted a, another one. And she got me the brown bonded leather. This one is the comfort print, which they have change their print a little bit within the bibles so oh my god and she is gorgeous this first of all i like the box that it comes in just oh my gosh it's bonded leather you guys like it is a and it comes with two two bookmarks what okay i love bibles okay if we don't know this i love bibles i have way too many bibles i have literally taken two bibles off of my bookshelf that i'm going to pass on to someone else because i don't need them i have way too many bibles um oh my god the print on this is oh i die here is the bible you guys this is gorgeous i don't own that many brown leather bibles i don't even think i own one most of my bibles are black or some type of pink blue color brown love this um this this is stunning gold foiling of course and pages i love oh my god let's see if it's the same so i'm gonna compare it to the other one that i have and if you guys don't believe what i'm saying it is the same bible so the nkjv journal of the word the bottom one is the original one with the regular font. The top one is the newest one that I got with the comfort print. Um, right? The comfort, easy to read print. Yeah. So, I love these Bibles so much. But, um, let me just see. So, this is the 2018 NKJV. I'm lying. It's the 1982 copyright of the NKJV, but this was released in 2018. Um, this one I have is a 2016 edition and i will say that the font definitely is a little bit easier to read it's a lot bolder um the font in my old one which is this one and i'm gonna have a whole comparison video for you guys of course but the font in this one is definitely like thinner more prettier pretty meaning like feminine type of style whereas this one is a lot more darker and bolder um page numbers are definitely off by two pages Yeah, so like the page counts on these are off by a couple of numbers, which it doesn't bother me none. Like First Chronicles, um, and this leather bonded one is on page 422, whereas in the other one that I use is in on page 418. Um, but I love I I I love and I will say that it's a deeper I think what it is is the paper. It's definitely a different shade. Um it's a different a different color the paper it's a lot more of I, it's like a cream with brown undertones and it sounds retarded me saying it out loud but oh my god i'm just excited to have it and it has two bookmarks and i have come to love bibles with two bookmarks because i study a lot <laughs> i do um so there are two bookmarks two brown bookmarks i i'm going to break this in when i restudy um Ruth and esther because i definitely want to restudy ruth i want to restudy esther i think i did jonah in this bible as well we did ephesians as well i keep forgetting that we studied ephesians 
but um, I also want to do a study on Psalms as well. So like, yeah, I think I did Jonah in this Bible. Or was it the other Bible? I just have so many journaling Bibles. <laughs> I don't be that one. Did I do Jonah in this Bible? I don't know why I'm having a hard time finding Jonah. Yeah, I did Jonah in this Bible as well. Um, so I'm excited that I now have this because a lot of the studies that we've done in the ESV translation, I do want to redo them in the New King James. Um, I'm a huge fan of the New King James. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very thank you. I can't even talk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alicia, for this. Like, I have been wanting a new one for so long. Like... I was actually looking at their hardcover ones with the floral print, but my thing is I didn't want another one that would easily get frayed. Um, they're really pretty now, don't get me wrong, <laughs> they're super pretty. But it's like, do I want the Bible because it's pretty or do I want the Bible because it's going to last? And I know that this will last me, but because it's hardcover, I feel like it's going to get messed up quicker. And one thing I've learned about hardcover books in general is that they, they look prettier they look like they last longer but they actually take more damage than a regular like paperback or leather bound bible there's like if i throw this bible nothing's gonna happen if i throw this bible i'm pretty sure the spine's gonna snap the hardcover might rip on the inside like it so i'm super super like i'm excited uh, about this and i'm actually going to put her name on the inside of my bible so that I know I'm going to put that it belongs to me, but that it was given to me from her. And when you guys send me Bibles and books and stuff like that, I always put you guys' name on the inside of it. Just so that I remember who it's from and when I got it. Um, but, oh gosh. I am not one of them people who's like a Bible snob. Because a lot of people ask me, like, do I prefer a specific Bible? Um, I prefer a specific Bible publishing company and that is going to always be thomas nelson one because they were the first company i got for a bible and two i just love their commentaries and their bibles when i do get study bibles um secondly i'm not a pro like i want to own a premium bible but i really don't feel like i need to be spending hundreds of dollars on the word of god um i feel like i don't know i have i have certain gripes about it um no shade to anyone that does of course but when it comes to bibles costing over a hundred dollars i start to question like what is the real purpose am i paying for the text which i obviously know i'm not paying for the text i'm more so paying for the exterior but i'm not buying a bible for the exterior okay now let me quote i did buy this bible because it was pretty okay but i utilize this bible not as much as I, this bible probably should have been filled already but like i said i've been slacking on my studies but um when i buy bibles i don't buy them for the look of them i buy them for what's inside i request them for what's inside um now if they do have like different options to pick from then i will probably go with the most uh prettiest and affordable one just because that's what my pocket can afford but um you know i i just i am so grateful i am thankful for when you guys send me things like it doesn't matter how big or how small i mean I, I appreciate everything. Sorry if you guys hear the music in the background. Like I said, I just got home. My son went back to his dad's house till tomorrow. Um, I have a lot of work to do for tonight. I need to look over the Sunday school lesson for tomorrow for church. I need to clean up my room. It is still a hot mess. I left my room a hot mess. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's crazy. I got some work to do for um, a bookstagram tour that I did for Instagram that I forgot to take a photo of a book. So I have to do that today. Um yeah i'm gonna put some hands in so on my hands <sighs> my son might have no school for a couple of weeks um his school already said there's no school monday they closed in school monday to do a deep clean and to train the teachers how to do virtual um education because the thing about it is my district with this whole coronavirus thing um where i live my city they're not shutting down schools um now the state of new jersey has closed most of its college campuses um, a lot of other cities have closed their schools down for months, weeks. My, the, with the city where I live, they haven't closed it down yet. Um, as far as I know, only one person has contracted it, um, and it was at my sister's high school. But I don't think the teacher lived in like the city of, of where I live at. Um, so, so far, everything is good on this end. Um, taking precautions, got my hand sanitizer, got soap in the house. Um, but yeah, thing, things are things are crazy. So receiving little trinkets and gifts and things like that from you ladies really do brighten up my day. 
um that bible just makes me want to dive back in and i just ugh. i'm gonna have a whole comparison video for you ladies definitely gonna come um for sure but um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna include this in my blog um i was gonna include this in my reading blog but i decided not to whatever um but yeah so what i'm going to do now is clean up my room I'm cleaning my room. I'm sitting here like so confused. I love that dress, you guys. Isn't it so pretty? I was a little nervous because I don't like buying liturgical dancewear off of Amazon. Um, I get nervous because <laughs> Amazon, you know, they, they come from Asia and you never know what the sizing of it. I was a little nervous, but that dress fits perfectly. It's not tight. It's not too loose. And I'm really petite. I'm tiny. Like, I'm just tiny. Um, but... Even though I'm a size extra small, small, when it comes to my bottom half, I have to wear a size medium. So I was a little nervous getting that in a small because I wasn't sure if it was going to fit me on the bottom half. It was going to be too tight. Um, but it, it flows so well. And I'm hoping to record that for you ladies tomorrow. Hopefully I can get someone to record um, the dance that I'm doing. I also got the dance ministry involved in the routine. Hopefully they still dance with me. But um yeah i need to clean up organize my stuff get my bag back in order but i'm super super excited for this bible this is my favorite if you're if you want to know what my favorite like straight up bible just what the text is this is it um this is literally just the word of god now if you want to know my favorite study bible then we all know my top my top two favorite study bibles are the um, first being the New King James uh, Spirit-Filled Life Bible from Thomas Nelson. And then following that will be the Women's Study Bible from Thomas Nelson. Love those two Bibles. My favorite, like, basic, straight-up, just text journaling Bible is the Journal of the Word from Thomas Nelson. And then if you're ask if you're wondering, like, what my other type of favorite Bible is that has, like, a lot of resources and references, definitely, hands down, the Thompson Chain Reference Bible is, like, my go-to, my favorite Bible, like... Before I even got into journaling Bibles and things like that, before I had all my other Bibles, I was literally using my Women's Study Bible from um, Thomas Nelson along with my mother's version of the Thompson Chain Reference until I bought my own. Um, those four are like my favorite. So definitely the Thompson Chain Reference is number one. Number one for me. Then it will be the Journal of the Word because it's strictly just the text with lines for me to journal my thoughts, write my thoughts. Um, then it will be the Spiritual Life Bible and then it would be the um, Women's Study Bible. All of them are from Thomas Nelson except for this. This one is from Kirkbride. Yeah, the Thompson Chain reference is from Kirkbride. And I know a lot of you are waiting on the next part, part two of this like review on how I use this. <sighs> it's coming. I'm slacking on a lot of things. Just pray for me. <laughs> pray I get it together. But yeah, oh, if you guys can see, I'm wearing my little brooch today, my um, pearl brooch. I think it's so cute. What I did was I pinned it. Um, this is a tie shirt. So it's like these are tied. They're strings that you have to tie to a bow. I tucked them in and then I pinned it to the, I don't know what to call this, lapel, collar. I don't even know, but it's ruffled all the way down. And um, I had on some high-waisted pants. Um, with some high heels, of course, we had to dress fancy and stuff for the award ceremony. So I really love how I um, put this. And I just, I love this so much. You guys do not understand. It's a flower, but it has pearls and rhinestones and it is everything. And it's on a rose gold plate. Mm, this was cute. Yes. If you haven't seen it on my Instagram, this is cute. I, I really just, I like it. But I'm going to take it off now so I can get ready to um, relax. But Yes. So, I'm going to come back to you ladies when I'm done cleaning up my room. And, um, we're just going to chat. So, yeah. I'll come back to you guys in a second. Hey, guys. So, it is currently Monday. Today is the 16th. It's 1.32 right now. 1.32 p.m. Um, my son had got back at, like, 12. I bathed him. So, right now, he's eating an early lunch. And then he has a crap ton of work to do. So, they had Monday off today because the teachers were um being trained on how to do virtual learning so i had basically um logged in today to all of the stuff that he needs to do for i forgot my mouse is broken i gotta get a new mouse um yeah i logged into all of the stuff that he has to do for um this week well for the next month because they actually officially had basically 
East Orange um, is where I live. And um, for some reason, my city was just like not closing schools. They was just like, oh, we're going to go back to school on Tuesday. Mondays, they closed because they wanted the schools to get wiped down and cleaned. And they also wanted the teachers to be trained for virtual learning. Well, I said I wasn't going to send my, school, my son to school anyway on Tuesday because it's getting ridiculous out here. And I didn't want to chance him going. Even though his school is across the street, I didn't want to chance him with anything. So um, they officially sent out um, a letter this morning via email that they were closing all schools to the end of the month. I know some schools in New York are closed to the April 20th. Out here in Jersey, um, at least where in my city, they're closed for the rest of the month. So I just logged on to um, Google Classroom, I think this is. Yeah, Google Classroom. Because my, my son already uses three websites um, for like computer homework that he does he has a math homework reading homework and there's another website that he uses i think um where they get assignments and stuff on like a daily basis but i just log on to google classroom you guys i don't know if you guys can see the amount <laughs> i'm scrolling up okay this is ridiculous my son is in kindergarten okay kindergarten he just did a project on um a diorama do i even have that paper over here somewhere I have the paper. Is this it? Yeah. He just did one of these projects. You know, these projects here that you're supposed to do, like, when you, like, in fifth grade. My son is in kindergarten. Which I'm more here for. Like, my son is learning Spanish and all that in the school that he's at, which I'm grateful for. Um, but he has a lot of work to do. A lot of work. And I'm kind of glad um, that the Lord has told me to take off for the month of March. Like, I really... I've made maybe, like, three videos for the month of March. Um, I still have five videos that I recorded back in February that I just finished editing that need to be uploaded. Um, so I'm kind of grateful that God has planned, um, not planned, but that things worked out the way they did that I have this month off because I don't have to feel overwhelmed with creating content for DOI. Um, you know, but yeah, I'm going to clean my room up. I did just wipe down both my desk. Um. I wiped down this one. I wiped down that one. I need to wipe down that desk over there because I haven't wiped that one where my computer is. I haven't wiped that down in a minute. Um, so, yeah. But I'm just going to keep this vlog going, I guess, till whenever. I do want to try to get some reading done. The month of March has, like, been terrible. It's already the 16th, and I have not read but, like, three books. I read other books, but I don't want to count comic books that I've read because comic books be, like, 100, 200 pages long, and those are quick to read. So, like actual book books that i've read i've read probably more than three but let me see i'll tell you guys right now i've read one two three four four books yeah four and i'm still reading clean your crown um so i've read a total of four books but i've also read um what is it i've read uh two graphic novels so i've read six books but I don't count the graphic novels for, and it's only the 16th, like, that's terrible. By now, I would have read, like, 10, 12 books, you know? Um, so, I'm a little annoyed, but I'm taking it easy. Um, so I'm gonna get started on my son's work, because he has a lot of work to do. Um, and I'm getting his skin in order. Ooh, what's that? Oh, from that bagel. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was using a lotion. I was using the Clean and Clear Moisturizer. Um, but that salicylic acid really dries my skin out, like, really bad. So I gave it to my sister, and I'm just going to be using coconut oil and Nivea. Is it Nivea? No, it's not. Vaseline. It's a na Vaseline cocoa butter, like, moisturizer, but it's really, really good. Um, so I'm going to be using it on my face until I can get a good face cream right now, because I don't need my skin, like, it was so bad that my eyes are, like, peeling like the lids up here were super dry and I don't like that so right now my face is a little shiny because I have on some um coconut oil with that Vaseline um cocoa butter moisturizer on which is really don't do wonders on my skin and I pretty much have normal skin with um dry patches here and there um sometimes my cheeks are a little oily but most of the time I have normal dry skin um and it like I said it gets really really dry in the winter months so yeah, that salicylic acid was no go, but I did give it to my sister, so that's great. Um, but yeah, I'm still cleaning up. Still needs to clean up stuff, but whatever. I am getting ready to 
just watch some videos because I am working on a project which I'm gonna be vlogging me working on this project so I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what it is I don't think I want to do like the reveal of what I'm doing until it's done prayerfully I can get it done by the end of summer <laughs> prayerfully so that I can have it ready for like the fall but um I'm working on a project right now one of the projects that God has given me um and it's been ministered to me for about a few years now to actually get this done and I started it at one point then stopped then started it and then stopped <laughs> um but then recently it's been confirmed that i need to do it and it's been on my mind and my heart to do it um and there's three well there's like five big projects that god has given me to do um concerning doi and my ministry my personal like ministry i'm not i'm not talking about church but i mean like the ministry of me um with what i do with doi there's been a few things he's told me to do and I've been pausing on them because I'm afraid. I'm not going to lie. I am slightly afraid. Um, and also the situation with finances, you guys know I don't work. So it's like a lot of these projects you want me to work on, they cost money. But again, I need to not let fear stop me. I need to just do it. And it's been confirmed several times in the past month, two months. So I'm going to be working on that. My son's going to get some classwork done. He has classwork and homework daily. Um, so, yeah, he has to catch up on his reading. He actually started, so this was from week one, I believe. This is week one's, um, reading log. He only has two books written down because my brain was completely, like, off. He got this, I believe, on a Wednesday or a Thursday, and I thought it was a Tuesday, as you can see. So we have to finish this one and start the one for this week, which is perfectly fine. My son loves to read. Um, and what I'm also going to be doing during this time is really getting back into Bible study with my sibling and my son. Um, I'm going to start off with my son, of course, um, getting back into the word of God with him because he actually does love reading his Bible. And my son has a few different Bibles um, and devotionals for his age. So I'm going to start getting back into that. But I think it's crazy that all of this stuff is taking place right before Holy Week. Like Holy Week is coming up. We're in the season of Lent right now. Um, I personally never have partaken in Lent. Seriously, I've never I never really know when Lent is. So I said that this year I wanted to partake in it, but I was a little late behind. So, um, but Holy Week is April 5th to, um, April 12th. So it's, it's crazy. Like all this stuff is going on. And I really think that we really all should be like paying attention because it's always been a serious thing with what's going on. Um, in this world, it's always been serious, but it shouldn't take a virus to really get people on board. And I think it's so sad. Like it's really, I, I got me some coffee. <laughs> um, no, it's the white chocolate caramel, um, cappuccino from, hills bros company or something like that something like that but i got it from walmart it's so good i need to actually go to walmart and see if they got another one because i'm running low <laughs> but it's so good but um it shouldn't take all of this for people to really understand what's going on and now people want to quote second chronicles 7 um the scripture that says if my people will humble themselves humble themselves i would um heal their land a lot of people are quoting the scripture and it's all good and dandy but the things that have been taking place in the Bible have already been taking place for years, okay? The Bible is literally unfolding and people refuse to um, believe that God is real. They refuse to believe that Jesus is real. They refuse to believe anything. And it's sad that it takes all of this to, to happen for people to lose their lives, for people to become so sick, for us to be isolated, for people to really want to begin to pray out and cry out and get into their word. You should already be doing that on a daily basis. Like, if it, it, it's... It's so sad that this is happening and it's even crazier because I'm currently reading um, the Left Behind series and that series right now for me is a four stars. I only read two books, the first two books, Left Behind and um, Tribulation. I'm supposed to be reading Nikolai this month, but um, sorry, my camera just did something, but um, I just, it's, it's insane what's going on. Like it's really insane and I'm just, I'm going to be in serious heavy prayer mode not just for me not just for my family not just for my son but for the world in general for all the schools for all the parents that are like out of work for all the students that are not in work i'm not in school like i'm gonna be heavily praying for the world in general because um i just watched the videos last night italy is on lockdown um i just watched this video from this high school this this college student from i think he went to vanderbilt and i think that's how you say this the school name um and he caught it while in italy with his roommate so now they're quarantined they did a video um about three days ago and i'm curious to know like how they're doing like i'm watching these videos of people and it's crazy what's happening and i just 
I don't know. I feel like a real like burden and not like a bad burden, but like God is putting it on my heart to really travel for this world because this is this, this, this it's getting real and it's always been real. But for people to have to have something like this hit home, hit hard, and it's not like it's just in one part of the world, it's hitting all over the world. People are dying from this. So I'm definitely going to be making sure I wake up at four o'clock every morning from four to five, just straight traveling and praying. And that's honestly what the Lord has been telling me to do. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, my son has a lot of work and he's still playing. So I'm about to go get him because he's in the kitchen playing right now, thinking I'm playing games with him. I'm not playing games. I'm, I'm not playing games. We got to get this work done. So I'll probably come back and vlog later. Um, this will be like a very weird vlog. So yeah, you guys get to see how I live my life. In the middle of COVID-19. So yeah. Catch you guys in the next clip. Yeah. That will make 2048 billion hundred. Okay. Then it should work. Good morning, guys. So as you can see, my son is over there doing his schoolwork for the day. It is day two of virtual learning, but he actually started doing his work on Monday. So it's day three for him. Um, once he's done with this homework assignment, um, this classwork that he has his math homework to do, and then he'll be done with math for the week, and then he just has to work on science, social studies, literacy, no, he did literacy, um, but he has to do reading class, so science, social studies, reading, he's done his Spanish homework, he has to do music homework, and I think art, so he has five classes left for the week, it's Wednesday, so he'll be done, hopefully, with all of his work by friday but i'm getting ready to relax i have my book claim your crown by tara lynn saint ellen Ooh, long name um but yeah i'm thoroughly enjoying this i'm gonna give this a four and a half star rating um i'm using this as like my morning devotional i'm a little bit behind so i need to read day 17 all the way today oh what's today okay i just need to read day 17 and 18 so i'm not that far behind i thought i was like super far behind so Day 17 and 18, two chapters, um, and then I'll be all caught up on this. I am behind with my faith planner, though. Again, once more, we're, you know, we're behind on that again. So I do need to catch up on that. I haven't used my faith planner since February 17th. So I need to get on that. So I'm probably just going to leave that week of February blank and then just hop straight over up to March and um, get into March. So I have the month of March to plan out, decorate, and write my stuff in. Um, and then I'm going to do some writing, possibly. No, probably not. But, um, yeah. Pumpkin spice tea. Well done! need to pick this book back up here Fantastic. so i read the priest and i need to do my vlog clip for that as i'm vlogging myself reading this i read the priest which is about aaron i'm giving it a three um three point seven five star rating i'll talk about my thoughts on it um i need to read caleb i know steph has already gotten into caleb which <laughs> i'm slacking you guys i'm slacking i have only read a total like i said i haven't read that many books and we're already on the 18th but I'll come back to you guys once my son is done with his work. I have a belt around my neck. I know. You know, when the kids act up, you gotta use the belt to be like, do you work? So, yeah. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'll come back to you guys later.